Marlon Jones, age 46, of Wainwright Avenue, Arcadia, in St. Andrew, has been missing since Tuesday, August 29th. He is of dark complexion, medium build, and about 180 centimeters tall. Reports from the Grand Spend Police are that Jones was last seen in Seaview Gardens in St. Andrew wearing a black shirt, grey and black shorts, and a pair of grey clocks shoes. He has not been heard from since. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Marlon Jones is asked to contact the Grand Spend Police, the 119 Police Emergency Number, or the nearest police station. Engage you. Those of you, my Jamaican brothers and sisters, my fathers and mothers. Who for decades haven't seen the prospect of change in your circumstances. I ask you not to give up hope. Don't give up hope. Don't take a pessimistic and fatalistic view of the circumstances of the country. And why is it that I'm saying to you don't give up hope? It is not because of what everybody feels that somehow there is election in the air. Right? Everybody talking about elections all of a sudden. We are a democracy. When elections are due, they are due. But we must not postpone and defer and interrupt our progress for elections. <laughs> elections must be a routine. They must be very short, orderly, and uh, seamless, and then you get back to business. But there are those who want to use elections to disrupt progress. So let me just say to you, my mind is not an election. My mind is on ensuring that those who are at the base of the society who still have not yet felt the change that is happening, that you will get the chance because your government is not taking its eyes of managing your business and your affairs. In other words, there are those who are power mongers. They just want power. They don't necessarily believe in your progress. And the truth is that when they get power, they don't know what to do with it. So what they do is feed upon your frustration. That's what they do. They feed upon your frustration. And look here. There are many things to be frustrated about. Many things. But what you don't want to do is to disrupt the good governance things. The nude body of an unidentified male was found at Wales Fort District in Gale, St. Mary on Thursday morning. The body is believed to be that of Mr. Larson. Otherwise, Carl Fox always said to have been missing since Sunday, the police are reporting. Information reaching the news team is that about 9 a.m. residents found the partially decomposed body lying face down in a stream. Police said the head of the deceased was beneath a large stone and there were three stones on the legs. The stone of the leg could have been thrown or placed on him, the police theorized. The area of the stream is below ankle level. The police said, and the flow of the water is extremely minimal. Initial reports indicate that a search was previously conducted in the area by residents for Larson, but he was not seen. It was not yet ascertained if a missing person report was filed. No visible marks of violence were seen on the body, the police said. <laughs>